Hey guys, it's your boy the next big thing back in with another video for you guys today. And today's gonna be what I got for Christmas 2019. I'm gonna leave the video for a little bit, you know, just trying to cool down from the chaos that is Christmas. You know, I hope you guys had a great Christmas, happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. Hope you got what you wanted. Soon the New Year's coming, get some New Year's resolutions. Good good week, good week. So um this is gonna be a not two part video but split into two parts. Like one video but two different locations. So it'll be here my mom's and then over at my dad's. So we're gonna start here. Um I guess we're gonna start with the trading cards. I got about two boxes of women's division, two boxes of the now forever for twenty eighteen. I got them after Christmas, but I use my Christmas money. So yeah. Let's start first we have a Sarah Logan. TLC Matt Relic, numbered 23, 199. Not bad. Could be worse, could be better. Next, from Royal Rumble 2018, we have a Seth Rollins Relic, numbered 195 of 199. It's okay. I mean, I could probably sell it for like two bucks or something like that, you know? Like, I don't really need it. Next, for Money in the Bank 2017, we have a Becky Lynch Matt Relic, numbered 76 of 199. Not bad either. Could be worse. And my favorite hit I've got, it's a really good one too, from Women's Division to get a chance for an auto. I got an autograph, a Chelsea Green autograph right there, numbered 170 of 199 not bad at all I may give this to Zack Ryder not 100% sure next we'll go on to the figures we have a lot of figures over here at my mom's let's start with the ones that like actually most interest in me I've um, got five below and they're these type of figures right here we've got Roxena Balor right here and Reigns they're kind of Eerily similar to Bendems because you can kind of just bend them any way you want, and like they'll do what you want them to do. Like see, like you could just if you want to bend them backwards, you can bend them backwards. Eerily similar to Bendems, which I like. Bendems are one of my favorite figures ever. Next, a retro. We have a Zack Ryder retro figure. Love Zack Ryder in the Major WF Pod. If you guys already don't know, probably one of my favorite listens to podcast wise besides the Cultaholic Wrestling Podcast. Next from SH Fig Arts, we have the Triple H Fig Art right here. Not bad, actually, you know. A lot better than I thought it was going to be, actually. I got it. Well, I asked my aunt to get it because it's fine on the ring side. I'm like, oh, why not? And it's really well. I actually have the rest of what it comes with over here for you guys to show you. It comes with two. I'll get them later, but it comes with two like changeable faces because the faces you don't take off the individual head. It comes with some hands, a water bottle, a sledgehammer. Don't really want to do right now since half of them fell off under my bed. Um, next we have an ultimate edition of Shinsuke Nakamura right here. I have him in that like when he's like going like come on, and I have him like in that, and like normally I have him like this bent over like that. The yeah, ultimate edition shows guy, not bad at all. Next, my the only leak I think I got this year, and I'm really happy I do because I have my John Gargano wall. It has a perfect spot right over here. It is the Elite 70 Johnny Star for Lighting. Johnny Gargano. Have a perfect spot over here next to my wall next to the Johnny eleven Johnny Gargano eleven by fourteen autograph. So I'm gonna put that over there. It'll look amazing. On to the final section at my mom. She has shirts and jackets. We'll start with this shirt. This shirt, I like how it's inside out. I've worn all these things already, so if they're like inside out and wrinkled, that's why. This shirt, I really like a lot because it looks vintage. And like lately, I've been like liking more of the vintage things. It is the Great Muda. Like it just has that vintage vibe. Great Muda in the white, Japanese, and red. Great Muda right here. And it says. The land of the rising sun right there. So this is a great Muda shirt. I really love it. And then next, I hope this isn't inside out. It's not. It is the shirt I've wanted the most the last three months. 
months, I'd yeah, well, not like two months, but three months, I'm gonna say. If this video comes out later than I want it to, it is the inner circle shirt right here. Nothing special on the back or anything, but inner circle is my favorite group in wrestling right now. Might be better than SPJ era. But inner circle, I really love this shirt. And the last thing I got, here my, I have it here my mom's, I got it from my dad, but I wore it over here to my mom's house. Now, chocolate my jacket, I originally was going to get the Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa jacket. And then, chalkline screwed up big time and they lost all supplies of jackets. So I couldn't get that. Hopefully I get it on eBay or some secondary seller in the next couple months. But I went to Ringside Collectibles and I decided to get a different jacket. Because, like, this was probably like, if they had still had this on chalkline, I was going to buy it. And on Ringside it was only 90 bucks instead of 130 So I had to pick it up. It is the AJ Styles chalk line jacket. Here's the front. P1 logo. It has P1 logo on the side and like the little like AJ Styles thing. Over here, it has it differently. And then AJ Styles right back here. And then here's the back. It says AJ Styles and has him. Probably given some of clothesline or something. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, I got this chalk on jacket too. So now I'm gonna send you guys over to my dad's house. So I'll see you there. So we are here at my dad's house for the second part of this video. What I got for Christmas 2019. Let's get started with some miscellaneous things. So I'll be able to get stuff from highspots.com. And they ha there's one thing I got that I knew I was wanting to get. And then they showed this holiday bundle. Which looks really cool. I'll be able to show you which was which in the holiday bundle. But first, now I'm not exactly sure who it is, but I know it's TNA. If that helps. A hat. This is D T O M A. Um I think it may be Kennedy Anderson, my bad, Mr. Anderson. Cause the MA, like he did lots of that. I'm not sure. If you know, leave in the comments down below. I'll probably gonna look it up after the video. But we have a T T O M A hat. In high spots, they're always throwing some card of some sort. That's old, new, something in between. They threw in, and I guess they have a new series of high spots cards. High spots. Dan Barry from Team Tremendous. Dan Barry, amazing, so underrated. People need to check him out. Dan Barry, amazing. It's his hometown, Amityville, New York, and his finishing maneuver, the Naked Gun. If you've any, seen anything, Dan Barry, or even Super Cop, Dick Justice, the Naked Gun, just the most devastating move in professional wrestling. Just uh, unbelievable. Next, we have a banner. Now, I was hoping for something to be AJ Styles. I didn't mean to exactly get that. I'm going to get... This is this is maybe one of the last videos I filmed in this room. I'm not sure. sure. But my dad lives here. We're getting a new house. And I'm just going to have stuff on open for a really good banner. And it was okay. I mean, I'm not going to hang it up. I'm just going to put it in the, the closet and then just deal with it. But it is a Taryn Terrell banner right here. It I'm not going to use it. It's just something to add to the collection. Maybe when I'm older and I get my own rest, like house and then I eventually buy, get a room, like a wrestling room. I just put some weird stuff like that up. I don't really know. Um, let's go with uh, this next miscellaneous thing. So they put all this stuff in a TNA brown bag, which I thought was hilarious, because I already have two TNA brown bags. <laughs> so I have a third TNA. Like, I legitimately forgot I had this until just now. So <laughs> it's pretty hilarious that, like, I have three TNA brown bags now. Um, let's go to the figure, since I only got one, and it, this is from the holiday bundle. It is a ROH figure of Mark Briscoe. Love this figure. It's just the definition of Mark Briscoe in a figure. Also in the series is Kevin Steen, uh, Jay Briscoe, Mark Briscoe, obviously, and then Jay Lethal. But this Mark Briscoe added to the ROH collection. Amazing, because the bundle was 25 bucks, And for one of these ROH figures, it's $25. And I'm not paying $25 for an ROH figure. No offense, figure's toy company. But I'm not paying $25. So eventually, I'll probably buy the rest of them loose. Lucy, or I'll find a bundle for like like 50 bucks for the rest of the series. 
Like, I'll pay the 25 for the Brian Myers one. There's two. There's a Chase Fair and the normal. I'll pay 25 for both individually. But I'm not going to pay 25 for a Ring of Honor figure. No offense. Next, we have a pin. Um, oh, dropped it. Uh, it came with the bundle because it comes with a pin. And this pin is amazing. If some of you guys know, I love Deathmatch Wrestling. Probably one of the, probably a highlight for me is watching a good old Deathmatch. And so, of course, I got CZW Tournament of Death 17. CZW. I I haven't been able to watch a CZW paper in a long time. And re just recently, I was able to watch um, Cage of Death this past year, 2019. I love that show. The opener, John Silver, and uh, I don't I don't know, how did I forget his name, but the one with John Silver in the beginning, amazing, I love that match, and then Cage of Death, the Brandon Kirk versus Jimmy Lloyd, incredible, I love, I love Deathmatch Wrestling, I, I'm actually, I don't know when this video is coming up, it's either coming out tomorrow, like they're telling me it's Friday the 27th, it may come out the 28th, I'm not 100% sure, but Friday, January 3rd, I'm going to Standalone Wrestling, Brandon Kirk's going to be there, Jimmy Lloyd, Sean Donovan, Serpentico, Killer Cross, Tessa Blanchard. I am stoked for that show. I love all those guys. Next is going to t-shirts. Now this shirt I love. I I got high spots. <laughs> really did well for me. And so as you saw earlier, I got a Chelsea Green autograph it, on a card. And this is just perfect because like if I like I just <laughs> it's hilarious. It's an I'm fine, really, Laurel Van Nesher from Impact Wrestling. This shirt is amazing. It's a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a mood in a shirt, and it's one of my favorites. Like, the hot mess character that Chelsea Green and Laurel Van Ness did, I loved it. It was amazing. Next, let's go on to DVDs. Um, let's start with, both of did really good. I'll do the first one. So, you had the choice, there's two options, and, like, there's many options, like, shoot interviews, documentaries, like, anything like that, Ring of Honor, New Japan. And for one of the options, you could choose Wrestling Revolver, and as you guys know, I love the Wrestling Revolver. So, for my Wrestling Revolver DVD, I got Tales from the Ring from the Wrestling Revolver from October 28th, 2017. This is a stacked, stacked, stacked card. I'll read it down for you. Revolver Tag Team Ships in a ladder match. You have the world's cutest tag team, Candle Throwing Joe Janela, versus Besties in the World, versus Zero Gravity, versus Chimera, versus Alienated Youth. And that's going to be killer, especially for the main event. Then you have Jack Swagger, aka Jake Hager, versus Sam Halleck, Callahan. That's going to, going to totally do well. Matt Riddle versus Jeff Cobb. I This DVD is going to be amazing. AR Fox versus Daga. That's going to that may still the show. Um, Iowa Deathmatch, Alex Colon versus RSP, Ricky Champagne. If you guys know me, I love RSP. Single handling one of the most underrated guys in professional wrestling as a whole. He is amazing. Then you have Ricochet versus Jason Cade. And if you've been seeing, Jason Cade's been making big waves in GCW. And Ricochet is Ricochet. Like, he's amazing. So seeing Ricochet and Jason Cade, that's going to be incredible. Then the open invite scramble championship match. That is match is always a highlight on the card when i was there at pancakes and power drivers that match was brutal it was amazing then you have battle of the sexes mjf versus jessica havoc both of those names if they're on a dvd you know it's gonna be amazing and those two against each other that's gonna be amazing and then finally this match battle of heavyweights the machine Brian Cage versus Shigehiro Eerie. I saw Eerie at Pancake Spot Drivers, and he is incredible. So Brian Cage and Eerie, that's going to steal. That's All those matches could steal the show. And then the second DVD I got from PWG, Only Kings Will Understand Each Other. I read this card over earlier, and it's amazing. So a singles match, Trevor Lee versus Cody. That's going to... I've seen highlights of it, and it's insane. It's truly insane. Then you have Ray Phoenix versus Trent, which we saw that on Dynamite. Or oh, was it AW? No, it was Dynamite. We saw that on Dynamite, and it was an amazing, amazing match. We've seen this in a PWG setting. Unbelievable. Then we have a tag team match with the Chosen Bros, Jeff Cobb and Matt Riddle versus the Unbreakable Machines, Brian Cage and Michael Elgin. That's going to steal the show. Like, no, no doubt, that's going to steal the show. Then a singles match, Ricochet versus Leah Rush. I've wanted to see those two fight for a long time, and I never knew what DVD it was on. 
because like it just wasn't on like this show was on the website. I don't, I don't believe. But seeing Ricochet versus Leo Rush, that's just that's my like indie rific dream match in my opinion. In the singles match, Jay White versus Marius Girl. Now that this is when Jay White was on excursion in the U.S. with Ring of Honor, and back then he barely had a name going for himself, and Marty Scroll is the villain, like, he's amazing, so seeing that will probably be a very, 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 like, amazing match. Then you have a six-person tornado tag team match, this, I, lo I, I love all the guys in this match, so this match will be incredible. It's going to be OI4K, Ohio is for Killers, Sammy Callahan, Dave, and Jake Crist versus the Super Click, Adam Cole, and the Young Bucks. That's easily, like, all of these matches could steal the show. Like, all of these matches. So that match, I'm ready to watch. And then for the PWG World Championship, we have Zack Sabre Jr., the PWG World Champion, defending against the Kentucky gentleman, Chuck Taylor. Chuck Taylor in himself is amazing, and Zack Sabre Jr., the grappling specialist he is, that's going to be incredible. Let's go on to plaques. Yes, we have plaques to look at. Um, they're both from WrestleMania 35. I will say that. I have one more plaque that I ordered in this, and it didn't come. So I'm hoping I can do an unboxing video for that in the future. But the first plaque from WrestleMania 35 was going to be the show opener, but it got pushed back because of the Rollins and uh, Brock. AJ Styles defeats Randy Orton. Amazing. I might, obviously, I can't hang it up in this room because there's no way I could because I, I showed my little brother. But I'm going to be able to put this up and, along with the other plaque I have. And this is going to look incredible because at both, cause as you guys know, Johnny Gargano, Sammy Guevara, two of my inspirations for professional wrestling and life in general, Cancel Reds with my favorite women's wrestlers. So I'm going to have a portion of the room dedicated to them. And then I'm going to have a portion of my room dedicated to WrestleMania 35. I already have that at my mom's and at my dad's. I'm going to do it too because... They're just amazing. And then the last plaque. This, I had to get it. Like, WrestleMania 35, in my opinion, is remembered by this moment alone. And if you could probably guess already, but just by me talking about it, Kofi Kingston defeating Daniel Bryan to win the WWE Championship. It's incredible, 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 all I can say. That match, that moment, being there live. Because I've been following wrestling coming up January 30th for 10 years. And Kofi Kingston's been around ever since I started watching WWE. And so seeing Kofi win the WWE Championship live in person, it's just amazing. So the Kofi Kingston WrestleMania plaque. Now we're going to move on to autographs. Before we, there's not many autographs, there's three. I'm going to start with this little miscellaneous thing that I'm going to be hanging up in my room. You guys know SammyGuevara.com, my favorite website. I ha always gotta keep the bag, cause the bag is a high like that. This, like I would order just a bag if I could. It's just incredible. And of course, I had to buy something off SammyGuevara.com. All of his shirts in my size are sold out, so I had to buy an eight by ten to Frank Sammy Guevara. That's him. Um, in the new PWG building, Sammy Guevara was doing a moonsault onto. Uh, uh, I only remember his daddy name, Bronson Reed. Um, uh, no. Um, Jonah, Jonah, Jonah Rock. Jonah Rock. Yeah. Jonah Rock in PWG. So, Sammy Guevara, 8x10. I love, I love it in green. It pops. So, this is going to look great in my room when I get there eventually. The last thing that was in the, um, the High Spots Bundle. You could choose between a legend, a current star, or a rising star. I chose a rising star because Independence is my favorite thing to watch matches. Like, Beyond Wrestling, uh, Chikara, WrestlePro, CZW, Creative Pro, Standalone Wrestling, Pro Wrestling After Dark, uh, PWG, Defy. Uh, like, Independent Wrestling is my is my is pretty much my home. For everything, sure, AEW, WWE. Well, I like them both, respectively, but Indies is my home. So I had to get Rising Star autograph. And this, not complaining, it sucks because he's in WWE now. He really just got signed. But Joe Kane Wild, aka DJZ. Ba 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 ba! Right there, DJZ. Signed it right there. This is going to be amazing to add to my room because at my mom's house, I have the Sammy Guevara. 
Battle of Los Angeles game at 10. So now I have a DJZ Battle of Los Angeles 8x10. And the final item I have over here. I'll put it down over here. A little sneak peek. But so this is the one thing I knew I was getting from HighSpots.com. It's just something I knew I had to have because this guy is incredible. He's someone who I can talk, I've literally talked to for like a long time. That's like one-on-one -on -one conversation. And it was kind of funny because at the last Wrestle Pro show I was at, um, back with the bang, um, he was there hiding in the crowd, obviously. And so I was buying tic like raffle tickets to win like the raffle. I forget the raffle was. But um, he like just came up to me and like he recognized me, like which is something like, it's crazy that like a guy f like from AEW, I'm just gonna say from AEW, can recognize you because I met him after AEW, um, which you can see in the video. Go check it out. Everyone I met in 2019. If it no, it's not. It's not uploaded yet. It will be uploaded very, very soon. But this guy, I met AEW after the show, and I saw him at WrestlePro back with the bang. He knew me. It's just, it's crazy how guys you can see on the independents who are now in AEW know you personally. Like Elliot, Prime and Powerful, they know me. MJF knows me. He's called me an asshole many of times. But the man. The bad boy Joey Janela poster signed by the bad boy. This was something I knew I had to have. It's like literally one day I was just scrolling through high spots looking for possible things to have in my room. And I came across this. And Joey Janela, my, is, besides Sammy Guevara, Joey's my favorite in AEW. And one of my favorites in professional wrestling as a whole, including WWE. So, getting this was something I had to have, because Joey Janela is the fucking man. Like, I'm going to curse, because he is the fucking man. So, that was everything I got for Christmas 2019, from both houses put together. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please hit that like button, put your in the comment section down below. Expect some unboxing videos in the future. Expect my Who I Met in 2019 video coming soon. If you haven't already, it hasn't gotten the greatest amount of likes. Not likes views, but go check out my like view of the wrestling world of 2019 graded. Watch that video, greatly recommend it. So, if you guys enjoyed that video, subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.